Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nintendo Prime. We got a three pack of news for you today. Before we get into it, I want to remind you that our channel and this video is sponsored by E-Win Racing. You know, the uh, good old chairs that can uh, do this. Ooh. Hello? Can somebody help me get back up? Oh wait, oh. we're all good. That's right, E-Win Racing. You can use code Nintendo Prime for 20% off your order. They also have gaming desks as well. Lots of different chairs for all size people. Little, big and tall, a little bit uh, rotund, whatever suits your needs, they got a chair for you. Be sure you get your 20% off with our code and let's get into the video. So our first story we're gonna talk about today is Hogwarts Legacy because we now have a, finally, finally have a release date for Nintendo Switch. But for starters, let's begin with the full context of this game. So the PS5 and Xbox Series edition of the game is gonna launch in February, like the current date is. However, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are gonna be launching on April 4th. The Switch version, however, isn't going to launch until three months later on July 25th. Notably, there is actually a gameplay showcase today at noon central time. So I'll have a link to that showcase and stuff down in the description if you want to go check it out. The game does look pretty fantastic so far. And what's interesting about this story is what a fellow YouTuber, uh, Zach from Switch Force, noted in a video late last night where he kind of said that he feels like the timing of this could have to do with new Switch hardware. Now look, I don't really know about all of that. I do think... It coming out in July sort of indicates it's not going to be a cloud version of the game because cloud versions of the game are pretty easy to get up. There'd be no reason for the Switch version to be so delayed if it was that. So I do think the delay is a good sign it's going to be native, but also this game is a visual feast. I don't really understand how it can run remotely okay. Maybe it's one of those impossible Switch ports and they pull it off like The Witcher 3 and Doom Eternal and the rest. Or maybe it's going to only be on new hardware I don't know, I guess time will tell. Next up, we have some news on Fire Emblem Engage. That's right, that Fire Emblem game that comes out next month. And you know what? We have news because previews have dropped. In fact, let's watch some footage from IGN's preview here. And what's interesting here are just some of the things they note throughout every preview I've seen. And one huge thing that gets noted are the visuals. So apparently this is just a visual feast when it comes to Fire Emblem and looks significantly better than whatever we had going on in Fire Emblem Three Houses back in 2019. And one thing they really talk about a lot, outside of how crisp the game looks, it looks like a modern you know game running on a current generation system, is the animations they have really animated almost everything the idle animations the character animations when they're chatting it they're not just still images there's movement to them a lot of this just feels super modern and is not something we're actually used to seeing in fire emblem so they're just saying the presentation the animation the visuals whatever they decided to do whatever intelligent systems did this time around seems to be really clicking with a lot of the people doing the previews one thing they also changed from prior Fire Emblem games is when you go over your unit in combat, all the stats for the units are actually at the bottom of the screen. So you don't have to go through a bunch of sub menus to sort of get to the stats and figure out the best matchups. And, you know, is just this thing faster than this thing? You don't got to worry about any of that because all the stats are going to be right there quickly and easily accessible. I kind of feel like this is a quality of life thing we should have seen in Fire Emblem a long time ago. But hey, it's in this game. Also, the engage feature seems really cool to a lot of the people who played it. Uh, it combines characters from the past with the present. It felt really familiar to the way things happened in Awakening when you could have two characters sort of team up and battle uh, other people. But it's fresh enough and different enough that it's sort of created an all-new experience. They do think a lot of the appeal of this feature will be on nostalgia and people who might be really into older games or... You know, maybe put Fire Emblem Heroes and kind of like dragging characters all around from different Fire Emblem universes. But also, that it's just fun in general, and you end up wanting to try all the different combinations you can just for fun. So there is that. Again, it was a really short preview. They were only allowed to play one combat scenario, essentially. But the game apparently looks really, really damn good. They all say, well, this looks like a finished product. Well, it should be a finished product because it comes out next month. So really cool to see Fire Emblem Engage getting a lot of attention. Obviously, Nintendo announcing the DLC pass uh, over at the Game Awards. So Nintendo's even pushing this game really hard. Cool. 
I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I'm probably going to end up getting a day one because I actually really enjoyed Fire Emblem Three Houses and even the Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. So bring it on, baby. Bring it on. Last up, we're going to be talking about a brand new album release for the 20th anniversary of The Wind Waker, and it comes from Zero, a.k.a. Zelda Reorchestrated. This group has actually been reorchestrating Zelda music for a long time, but they created this really awesome Twilight Princess album using actual, you know, orchestras and, and real people playing instruments. And as to this day, some of the best Zelda music has ever sounded. Nintendo ended up shutting them down back then, although out of respect for the artistry that went into it, they did allow people who had ordered on Kickstarter and stuff to receive their items and the album is out there and freely available on the internet and Nintendo hasn't shut that down. They just wanted to stop the sales of it after the Kickstarter and that's really all that happened. They haven't really done anything since. However, this time around, they did actually get licensing from Nintendo to do this and now they are back to give a reorchestrated version of the Wind Waker stuff with actual people playing instruments. There's actually a ton of artists heavily involved in this project way too many for me to list in a little news segment here on nintendo prime so we'll have a link to all the information about this it's called second quest and they do have one of the songs it's a 12 track uh album coming out with about 50 minutes of music and one of the tracks is out for free called the great sea here's a quick listen <laughs> and you know listen to that single pretty much anywhere any streaming service like spotify and etc will have that single if you want to actually buy the album and stuff it's available on itunes amazon music and bandcamp there will be a physical cd release of it in march of 2023 again more details on that later as we get closer to that physical release and as i said all of this was performed on actual instruments by masterful artists so yeah, I'm really excited for this. I've actually known about this for a while. I've been hearing previews of this. I actually have access to some of the music before it launched today, or well, yesterday, I guess, is when it officially launched. I just wanted to let you guys know because I know we have a lot of big Zelda fans, and while we might not have the Wind Waker HD, we do have a reorchestrated soundtrack of 12 of the masterpieces from that game, and to me, that is awesome anyways folks i want to thank you so much for tuning in this morning to this edition of i don't know this is prime five is this prime news whatever we call this i hope you enjoyed it i'll catch you guys in the next video